Hi, it's Chrissy again. I'm here for part three of Return to Children from the Return and Reunion curriculum. I am, I'm a mom, I'm also a public school teacher, um, and I wanna also take a moment to just say during the COVID-19 and during the coronavirus pandemic that people's structure and school schedules have changed dramatically. I want you to give a lot and plan to give a lot of kudos when you get back. Say good job to the caregiver, to the person who's homeschooling your child, um, and to the people that are involved, your, ch your child's teachers as well. Um, we are all learning a lot through this process. And some of us, the caregivers, have had to take on additional roles in, in, um, because schools have been closed. Um, so if you find that your child is maybe not meeting the expectations that you have for school, for academia, for sports, or anything like that, Take some time also to just acknowledge some of the ways that they've grown. Um, no one that I know of has been through this. I've even reached out and talked to my grandmother who was around during World War II. She says, no, I've never experienced this before. This is new for me. Um, so give them a lot of room for just appreciating how they've dealt with things so far. So think too that um, accomplishments should not always be physical accomplishments like sports or growth and not always just intellectual, um, intellectual milestones. Think about how they might ha be helping around the house, how they might be able to maintain um, more composure or be able to tamper any tantrums. Think about some of the ways they might have introduced themselves to other people or the, they might have learned a new cooking skill or some more independence. And take time to really appreciate that. Um, I usually take this section normally to say, if you missed out on a holiday or a school function or you didn't see the, your child hit a home run at a baseball game, take them out for ice cream later and say, this is because I saw that you did, I heard that you did a great job at that baseball game. That might not happen in the same context, but take a moment when you're reintegrating in the household for your child to kind of have some communication on the things that they are proud of, maybe some ways that they feel like they've grown. So ask those open-ended questions. So this is another handout that we have. Um, we want you to fill out some of the ways that they've become independent, physic they have grown physically, emotionally grown, and socially grown, and then kind of how you want to celebrate each of those, okay? So this is even something you can maybe fill out with your child later to kind of bond, um, kind of just celebrate who they are and, and how things have changed. So the next thing we want to talk about is communication and quality time. Um, I would like to remind people that it can be very difficult to find time within your day to communicate with your child. Um, most of us are spending a little more time with our children than normal, but 10 minutes of quality time a day on a activity of your child's choice is shown to have um, great benefits. So even just 10 minutes, and it can be anything as simple as coloring, it could be making a meal together, it could just be tossing the ball back and forth, but think about taking just 10 minutes per child per day on an activity of their choice. And that's one of the ways that we can kind of build the bank of really good interactions so that when later we have to take withdraws because of discipline problems or other issues, they have a bank of really good um, moments with their parent to draw on, okay? And giving the child um, a choice in their activity is also important because children actually don't have a lot of choice in their structure um, day to day. So think about doing that as well, okay? Managing expectations. So it can be very difficult for children and for parents to interject themselves into a already running system. Um, a service member once described coming home like watching his family, his spouse and children on a carousel. They were going fully, they were functioning without him, they were, um, they were maintaining everything that needed to be maintained and he was just watching the carousel waiting for the appropriate moment to jump on. So also consider maybe sitting back for a little bit, um, asking the very important question of how can I help? That's a really important one that helps. Um, 
Keep the children's, and this is especially important for younger children, maintain their daily routines, make sure they're eating regularly, that they get the enough rest throughout their day. Children will be less likely to have a tantrum if they know where their next meal is coming from and they have a generalized um, routine of when do I see people, when do I exercise, when can I go play. Um, and that is something that we are all still trying to figure out. Um, how to get our kids enough physical activity, time outside, to have safe social contact through video conferencing. We're all still figuring this out. So um, consider that you might have some good ideas, but sit back and see what is working and give kudos to what is, um, what is positive. Um, always ask your children for help, okay? Children love to tell adults about things that they've learned or things that they've experienced, okay? Any rules or changes that have happened in the house, make sure we talk about that with our caregiver. And we don't wanna to change too much too quickly. Um, but realize that that you know service members also need to feel involved in the process. Just ask about it and ask why and what you have found useful in, that, in those new rules. Um, any changes need to be discussed with the partner as well. Um, make sure that you have communication amongst the caregiver and amongst the spouse and partner and maybe if those are the same person or not. And then make sure that you go easy on discipline. I always remind people before going on a deployment, it's not a good idea to try and parent from the middle of the ocean. Um, we, want to, we want to give a lot of appreciation to the people that have been taking care of children while they're gone and maintain uh, some structure that will work best for them. So think about going slowly, getting involved, um, showing appreciation to your children, managing discipline, and then realize that you have additional resources that you can reach out to through Fleet and Family um, and our partner organizations if you feel like things are just taking a little bit longer than normal. We do have um, children, uh, child, sessions for child counseling. Um, we don't have them over the mediums we're using right now for COVID-19, but the MFLAX have that, um, the military family life counselors do have um, child counseling available should you need that. Um, all right, so I'll see you for the next session. Thank you.